Hello, I'm Mario and welcome to the channel. Today's video is about a project. Well, it's it's been a dream of mine ever since I purchased uh, this GeoPro travel trailer to have lithium batteries. And I could certainly mount the lithium batteries on the uh, on the tongue where the hitch is for the front of the trailer. So currently I have two six volt AGM batteries uh, up front there and they work pretty good. Um, but what I don't want to do is when it comes time to replace those, replace them with, again, with AGM batteries. So I want to implement a plan uh, using lithium batteries. And to start with that plan, that's why I'm here in the kitchen because, well, where, are you do you, where am I going to put lithium batteries? Why not in the kitchen? I've been thinking about different places. I don't... You know, I'd, I'd like to maybe put it kind of maybe at where the head of my bed is right now over here by the refrigerator. But I don't know where existing wiring is and all this other stuff. I don't want to, I don't want to reinvent all of the inside of this uh, trailer. So I think the best bet is to remove this convection microwave oven here. And then um, once it's removed, then I'll start getting an idea of how I could put the uh, battery banks in uh in this area here in the kitchen in my kitchen cabinets and uh because currently right now my my breakers and my um converter where it converts ac to dc uh, that is located right here and then in the front i have a thousand watt pure sign inverter and i believe that power inverter up front um, actually acts as a transfer switch so I think all of the shore power uh, goes from this area here and then um, back in the back of the bathroom and then plugs directly into the power inverter over here. And then um, from the power inverter, it goes over to uh, this system here. And then obviously power branches off to the, uh, you know, where needed. But at any rate, let's get started. Today, I'm gonna be focused on, like I mentioned, just removing this microwave and seeing what's inside and maybe getting an idea of, you know, what it looks like back here behind the microwave. And I already have a place to donate the microwave, so I wanna get this done uh, right now. So let's get started. All right, so I got some hand tools available um, here and went ahead, emptied out the microwave. I had stored some items uh, inside the microwave to help keep the uh, glass carousel uh, in place, you know, that, that uh, bottom plate. So this is all part of the microwave because it's a convection. It has this wire rack so you can cook stuff on. And yeah, I just want to go over the uh, instructions here. And I think it's just as simple as removing the bezel and then accessing some uh, some bolts that uh, hold this thing in. It looks like there's a couple bolts holding the side and also maybe six or five uh, bolts or screws holding the front. So let's check that out. So I was able to locate the circuit breaker um, here. So the microwave is isolated from power and I can see it's uh, indicated here that the clock isn't working. I just want to get this bezel off right now. Well, that bezel, that bezel is the whole deal. So that whole thing is, that's it. I guess the bezel mounts right here. I'm going, to go, I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Those are just four sheet metal screws. And just as I suspected, it's a power cord plugged into an outlet back there. So I just got to reach back there, unplug it, it should come right out. Yep, 
Yeah, so here's what it looks like on the inside. There's just one, looks like, you know, I'm going to call it Romex wire there for the AC current. There's just like a little outlet there. So that's dedicated 15 amp there. That's kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, there's all the fancy wiring for the back of the uh, control panel, I guess you could call it. You know, you can get all the switches for the different... Uh, light circuits and whatnot and uh, yeah there's another little outlet back there and then down here I guess there's this panel maybe I can remove it but it doesn't look like it's going to be really simple converting this area because really I want the battery sitting on the floor so that I'm going to remove this uh, panel and see what's going on here So this was just acting like a reinforcement. I mean, there's nothing, uh, that's just an extra little piece of plywood. I'm gonna get these drawers opened up here. To get these out, to get these out, there's a little, a little tab here you just Hold this one down and then the other side is the opposite you you whatever one side is the other side's opposite so on this right hand side it's hold it down and then that's that'll release it from the rail I guess what's going to happen is I'm going to remove uh, this base piece here I'm just going to get rid of it and uh, I'll probably end up cutting it here because back over here, I use this a lot, this space in here. It doesn't have to be like this. I mean, I don't access it often, but I definitely use this for storage. And these pieces here are old pieces from other projects where I was removing cabinetry. So I don't know, maybe this whole piece will get removed. I don't know, but I like, I would like at least one of these drawers. I don't really want to delete both drawers. I'll, I was anticipating deleting one. So we'll have to see how that all shakes out. But I could definitely um, cut it here and remove the rails for this drawer here. So that's where the AC circuit breakers and uh, power converter is to convert to the DC power back over there. And then towards the front of the trailer. And I got a bunch of other plumbing and wiring stuff. Yeah, so this is what it looks like back in the corner. And I should have the power inverter should be somewhere around in here. And then it just starts going back, the plumbing and whatnot, back and around the, uh, the bathroom. The outer perimeter of the bathroom. So yeah, since I got nothing better to do with my time, I might as well start another project, right? What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to take measurements and then see what sort of products I might put in here. I don't know when this is going to come through, you know, come to full fruition. <laughs> I don't, uh, I just know that now I have, uh, I have the microwave is out of the way. It's no longer an obstacle. And um, I really want to put the batteries on the floor. I want to mount them to the floor. And uh, yeah, so I'll just start measuring and I'll uh, see what sort of products I might want to put in here because I want to have some way to, uh, I don't know, just manage the whole system, right? So I mean, there's different components and whatnot. So. I may incorporate some features off of the truck. I have a Renogy DC to DC charger, and I think I would like to be able to charge this battery bank that I anticipate installing here, charge it with my truck. I think that makes the most sense. So um, it doesn't necessarily make sense to have the DC to DC charger uh, way out there. Um, that wouldn't necessarily be the most efficient, but considering the alternator is way up there. Um, 
I don't suspect it'll be too much of a difference, but at any rate, I'm now I'm just kind of thinking out loud, but that's the idea. Batteries will go here, and I'm probably gonna end up cutting that cabinet floor out. And yeah, I mean, that kind of sums it up as far as uh, what I got going on for the battery bank. I got a couple other little uh, projects here and there around the Geo Pro and kind of the, how, how the full-time RV lifestyle uh, it has its little nuances so there's a couple little things I want to take care of um, and I'll give you a hint like maybe with the water but it's not a huge it's not a huge project I'd like to really do a huge project with the water but you know I got to take kind of baby steps otherwise nothing's ever going to get done kind of like this is a baby step just getting the microwave out so I can start planning and getting around this I really wanted to do this battery bank but the, the thing that I wanted to get at here is this that um, I'm really looking forward to next year and um, I hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas and are enjoying your holidays, however you may celebrate that. And uh, gosh, I just I really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching the stuff. I, I, it, it sounds kind of, I don't, I don't know how to say it without sounding corny, I guess, but I got 300 subs and I don't know, I really appreciate that. So I appreciate you guys tuning in and subscribing to the channel. It's definitely a motivator. You guys commenting. I, I really enjoy you guys uh, interacting with the channel. So, I don't know. It's just good stuff. I just, good stuff all around. I really appreciate it. So, um, so yeah. Probably won't see any uh, videos right away around uh, this project. Like I said, I've got a couple of little things i got to address with uh, how I hook up my water. And, uh, and yeah. I'm going to be heading down to, from here, I'm going to be heading down to uh, kind of the Gulf for a couple of weeks. So maybe I'll get a video out around that. But that's where my headspace is at right now. Just looking forward to the future. Thanks for tuning in, folks. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye. <music>